there's no other food like their food when i hear of nigeria i just think of food men and channel link to part two is below subscribe like and let hello k tribe welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kemto bear and today i have a guest here yeah. yeah taste of ray yeah so in today's video i'm gonna be asked uh, be talking about what africans really think about each other so we are kenyans and we're from east African community. <laughs> yeah. So if you like this kind of videos, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's free, it's lit. And <laughs> if you want to feel this vibe, subscribe. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. subscribe. You can have questions here on my phone. That's why I'm like looking down. So what is the first thought that comes to mind when you hear of these countries? Nigeria. <laughs> Can I give positive and negatives also? Like, yeah, like, for me, the first thing that comes to my mind is the clever guys, like people, like they are so intelligent, fast, you know? When I hear of Nigeria, I just think of food, men, and me, basically. And corn men, like, yeah. Yeah? Me, I think of like everyone who's dated a uh, Nigerian thinks about <laughs> the <laughs> like the look <laughs> like the bed not things not thing the grown things. up shit yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the first thing that comes to mind yeah I think they come out and of their stomachs dress, like they're always dressing up that's another thing that comes yeah, to mind yeah they're bougie and they're so like egoistic and then they they just believe their food is their food and there's no other food like their food <laughs> yeah they believe that they thing you know when you even stay with them they yeah. be, like you start yeah. believing in them and mm. just grows on you yeah that's the first thing and what about ghana I'm really not associated a lot with them. I just think they're the same yeah. as Nigerians. Yeah, many Kenyan women think Nigerians and Ghana are the same. Yeah. Just and they're not as many as Nigerians. So you'll before yeah. you encounter one, it's mm, a bit it's very hard. hard. Yeah. For me I when I uh, when I see Ghana I, I think about football. I don't know why. Oh, because of Akina, oh, yeah. The big names. The yeah. Big, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think about football. I think about hot 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 like they are they're always hot they're always wearing shorts yeah they are like you'll see they're wearing shorts and the flip-flops yeah <laughs> i always think of dark black yeah. guys you know handsome actually yeah, and they're, they're very so, chiseled they're by the so way. handsome yeah they are very like they for have, me Ghanaians are so handsome yeah like the, the Ghanaians i've met they are handsome and they're chiseled, yeah. like their face is like more they are like, yeah, like they're masculine, the, the, the you know. Guys they guys are have, like, like, how do you say that face? They're masculine, yeah, yeah. Have masculine and, face, serious, sexy face, yeah. And then also their food, I, be, I believe, I, okay, I still like their food. Like, also, another thing that comes to mind between these two countries, mm -hmm. Nigeria and Ghana, is uh, their, um, their fight for Jolo. <laughs> Yeah, who's, <laughs> Jolo, who's, who's Jolo better? Is better. And I also, hey. I didn't know that even Jolof is not even from originally from, from West the, Africa. From it's from West Africa, but said from Senegal. Senegal. Okay. Yeah. So I like that's the first thing. Food. Uh, egoistic. Uh huh. Like I think West Africa has, have one thing in common. Uh mm huh. -hmm about their food yeah and they have <laughs> the same kind of characteristics they are all yeah. sh they are all sharp i don't know what maybe mm -hmm. the food they eat they like fish yeah they, they like are very fish. sharp sharp yeah so and what what do you think about when you hear about ethiopia injera <laughs> and some cute men and cute ladies <laughs> and yeah the only country that wasn't colonized and it wasn't right yeah, it wasn't. and also i just think like a behind country because i don't know because 
they are years way behind yeah they don't uh, use the calendar that and very cultural the people like mm-hmm. like they are so cultural me they believe in mm-hmm. their food they believe in they their culture believe in their food. they believe in their clothes they believe in their <laughs> like you know yeah. you know most of them they are yeah. yeah so they believe like that's the right religion like yeah yeah i i, I just and the women and the women are beautiful yeah long hair like good skin because they use a lot of ghee yeah that's what i came to know they use even their hair they their hair, like they believe in ghee but me the first th- thought i have about ethiopia is like the refugee like there are so many refugees back here back here like really? in eastly in a town called eastly before oh. the somalias now came in like a few years back there were a lot of refugees before i think they is it Eritreans or was, ethiopians it was ethiopians i can't oh. for i can't like i don't but the odds of the difference between ethiopians are, okay no that's gonna be a political just the, the, no just the language <laughs> the they, language one talks amharic and uh-huh. then the other one tekrinya and then uh-huh. they're they have a border now they wow, created a border yes. just from nowhere wow yeah but that's so they have issue. like a richer president and different yeah. president but that's their issue yeah it's the world it's wild yeah me when i think about ethiopia i think about the i said so i like i don't think about their men because they are soft i just think about how beautiful their women are <laughs> and how long they are <laughs> I dated one for four <laughs> years and I'll tell you they're not soft, they are manly. <laughs> and that guy is manly, he acts manly and he's intelligent. <laughs> Woo! Don't joke with them. <laughs> so what do you think when, what do you think when you think about uh, South Africa? I don't know why <laughs> what this one think? always comes to my mind. Like it's, okay, first of all, I just think of, uh, travel destination Cape Town mm-hmm. and I then I, I think of Mandela wow. uh-huh. and then I think of yeah okay beautiful yeah I beautiful like women like with big asses and small waist, waist. and they're <laughs> all and they're yellow hair, like, like they're all like actually skin. they like hair like like I love the way their they culture the way yeah yeah and then I love the, the way, way they, they talk sound yeah yeah the, I like I really love it when the like ladies talk like, like that when the ladies yeah. talk like that and then they and then they, they have this skin color like it's like you know most of them dark. are mixed no they, uh, I yeah I know they are yeah. white but and the the ones who look like us yeah but really they, they look like us because they have a descendant who was Ooh, a white person even if mm. it's one kuko kitambo there mm. is you know they yeah. used to get raped when they you know oh, yeah yeah during slavery yeah. and then i think about nani who oh, like the serafina movie yeah. i watched that movie like i knew about okay at school okay we learn about south africa but you don't really think so much about it but i came to really uh, like know south africa like a travel destination because of that movie serafina mm. because it showed like this some um, clips they were showing things so Always when I grew up, I knew I wanted to go to South Africa. Really? Yes. But I then you're South looking Africa. at such stuff. Huh? Me, for me, I was just thinking no, of was LA. Young. LA. When I want I to go there, to LA. I wanted to go to South Africa. I want to live in South Africa. Like, I love South Africa. And then I, I got really sad really? when I was in college. And then one of our lecturers, he, he had come from South Africa. He had, like, uh, was lecturing in South Africa. He to- that's the first day I heard about xenophobia from him. Mm. So he explained to us like xenophobia is where like our South Africans don't want other Africans to work there. So they will call they will refer them as xenophobia. Mm. But there's so much to it. But that's how I first learned about the word xenophobia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah A lot but of... when I think about South Africa, I think of the mountains the beaches yeah and mandela of course yeah mandela (laughs) Mandela. and then i I relate so much with serafina i watched that movie like several times you still watch it you still watch it 
yes even Ooh. even now like i'll find it on youtube and watch it and then i'll cry i'll cry i think i Bye. should also watch it i'll again. be happy like i like the way they are dancing like I, yeah i, I love I the dance i'm so happy and then when i see the oppression it hits so hard like, yeah mm. and then what do you think about senegal just i think of econ econ is senegalese yeah econ is senegalese yeah oh. and i just think of black beautiful people tall, tall. black beautiful people <laughs> and then the and they talk sexy language french people yeah they're french speaking yeah. yeah they're just black and nice and, uh, <laughs> but i've never had uh, hmm. a taste of one of that <laughs> it yet or did yeah not yet and <laughs> 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 what do you think about tanzania let's come back home oh, nearby of, now at this it's a, like diamond diamond <laughs> father of uh, father abraham of father africa abraham <laughs> and uh, go <laughs> So I think of okay nice beaches nice yes, looking women who can seduce your man and then food oh. for me I love like their food and food. I can relate so much with their food but I feel like they take time to spice up their food they are more like I don't know like like even the street food the spicy stuff yeah. yeah so Tanzanian I feel like it's more like they are more like at pace they are not in a hurry yeah the, yes, I, yeah I, that's one place life. i i really like uh, that about them and uh, zanzibar is always gonna be my dream destination ever is this the same as custodian people there's no, no difference they're yeah. slow they're really slow and like just, in a good way when yeah, you're in holiday nice. you need that yeah what else so what do you think about kenya <laughs> country kenya <laughs> Let's think of madness, <laughs> jokers, people who are not serious. We are not serious. <laughs> I just, yeah, that's. You know, <laughs> I used to take advantage of Kenya guys, but when I travel, like when I when I'm outside the country, not outside of the country, when I'm in Tanzania <laughs> or in Uganda, and then I'm coming back to Kenya, I feel like at home. But when I'm here, I take it for advantage, especially these six months. Yeah. I've taken it like I'm done. Like, like you know, you don't appreciate what you have until mm. you you don't have it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. When I was stuck in Dubai, I was just like, like oh my god, I miss Kenya. I yeah. see people on mm. Instagram. Mm-hmm. I see the streets of Nairobi, and yes, I'm like, damn, I want to that. be there. I want yeah. to be. There. <laughs> yeah. And then when you feel like someone as scary from Nairobi, you feel like really nice. Yeah, so yeah, it's just like yeah, you like know, Nairobi and you're Kenyan. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm also Kenyan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Tanzania likes telling us that we are really like when in when in Kenya, you mm, are Janja. Like you, you guys are really tricky. Even if you stay and say Nairobians are fast, like yeah, we yeah, we are Wakoras. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so another question is. But then Nairobians are just like, like Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Nigerians here. love us. How to use this when you're in Nairobi otherwise. That's why Nigerians love us. Yeah. And we blend in. We blend in together. We blend in perfectly together. Yes. So what do you think about Angolas? I don't even know anything about Angola. Yeah, I just... I just mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Continue. 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 Someone said I I usually cut people off. So I'm learning, you know. <laughs> critic is critic. And I'm we don't want to nothing. Mhm. Let's see. Yeah, me think about Angola. Uh, uh, the only I only watched this this program I watched, and then they were speaking like really nice language, and then I came to know it's Portuguese. Mm. That's the only and then that's the only thing I know about sadly about angola about portuguese okay I, i know about what i know about angola is also there's a lot of cash there there's like, a lot of cash yeah and there's a lot of like potential it's not a tcg what but oh, I, yeah it's not like yeah i think oh. so it's just like south sudan oh. and somali it's a 
like a gold mine that people <laughs> don't know about. Ah, oh, talking about Sudan. What do you think about Sudan? Which one? South Sudanese or North? You know, there are two. There are two. The North ones are the light ones. The dark, dark ones, ones are, are the... South. South. Yeah, and they are uh-huh. totally so where is different the oil, people. Like, where is the money at? Of course, South Sudan. That's when. That's what I think when I hear about South Sudan, and I then think I get about money, mm, and money then oil, dollar. and then I think about also the refugees because there Kenya many, we have yeah. a lot of refugees. Currently, we, are, we have a lot of Somali refugees. Mm. Yeah, and I feel and like they take really advantage of us. Yeah. And I just think of tall black people. Yeah, like, very tall, tall and very tall and, and very dark, like, you know? thin, thin, yes, yes, thin. And most, mostly, they they are in NBA. Yeah, it's an advantage for them. For them. And I, I never thought. And then models, so so like models, super models, because of their skin, beautiful yeah, skin, their skin is and melanated. their height. Yeah, yeah, melanin on a hundred. So what? Okay. Here, here, children are named after days of the week in the largest ethnic group. I can't. I don't know what that should be. <laughs> this is the first African country. <laughs> Even that one gave me a headache. I was just like, where? Go, go, go. This is the first African country to recognize same-sex marriage in 206. Which one was that? Which was that country? In Africa? Yes. Is it South Africa? Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't illiterate <laughs> after all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me when I was Google, I went to this question was asked because I had to, to, to get the questions. I was uh-huh. like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I keep falling. I was like, huh? Really? <laughs> yes, yeah, so I had to go and Google. I know South Africans are crazy, so they had to be them. <laughs> <laughs> this country has an incredible... You didn't even ask us about Uganda. Ugandans. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. This is why I need to write my things on notebooks. East Africa. What do you mm, think? Even Somalians. Yeah. It, no, so, that one, yeah, with the way. Yeah, yeah even Rwanda. Somalians, Rwandans. That, oh, what, what do you think okay, about the second Rwandans? part you're going to do on my yes, on, on yours, yeah, right for East Africa, the yeah. Rwanda, Uganda, mm. and and yeah. that's some juicy, juicy, juicy drinks. So go over over, over there. there. So this country has an incredible sixteen official languages, more than any country in the world. English is It has sixteen official languages, more than any country in the world. Where do I think in South Africa? Yeah, I, I don't even know, guys. I'm in Nigeria. Even in Nigeria. Sixteen official languages, guys. Please ask us in the comment section. We know more comment about down food below. culture and. <laughs> comment down below and tell us which country this is. We only know about the men and food. <laughs> we love eating, eating both men and food. <laughs> Coffee was first <laughs> discovered here. Uh, Kenya. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you have come to show us stupidity on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Zofia. Really? Oh, yeah, because yeah. I because love yeah. coffee now. I, I know that. It, but then they have the best coffee, so it, it makes yeah. sense. <laughs> ah. Luanda is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Apartments there, here in Luanda, cost 800 pounds a month, which is this country that Luanda is in. <laughs> At how many, how much? Luanda is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Uh-huh. Apartments there cost more than 8,000 pounds a month. It's, it's the city that you've talked to here. South Sudan? No. There's a, city, there's a country you've said you only know one thing about them. I don't know. Angola. <laughs> oh, yeah, Angola. But it <laughs> yes. must be Angola because oh, yes. the, 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 that's really where it's where the money so. is at. I uh, hear yeah. that's where the money is. So it <laughs> must be the cost of living must be high. That's why. Yeah. yeah. This is the country known for Nollywood. Ah, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Our Nigerian <laughs> brothers and sisters. 
Nollywood. <laughs> we, we are there you. and done it, Tommy. We are so obsessed with Nollywood. <laughs> Even on Netflix, we just watch Nollywood. Wait, wait, wait. Nigeria is just. <laughs> it's just amazing. Special. It's a, they are lovable people. They ha- their heart is is a form of art. Yeah, you know they know how to deal with people. They have been yeah. brought up well. They know how to, you know, changanisha you, mix you up. Yeah, like a berry. And then me, I love the way. I forgot to say, like when I think also about Nigeria and Ghana, I think of Ghana of Kente. I, I, I think of them more on a cultural way. Mm. Like they, they embrace their culture, their culture, they their, put their, their music, like the oh. Afro, like the beats like the afro beats. you guys these guys yeah. don't listen to african at the south at south african music Mm-mm. east african they listen to, to their Nigeria own music. if you put another thing they just feel tired mm. yeah they even sleep so what country do the sexiest people come from Ooh, hey. kenya can't you see here <laughs> look at me really low you <laughs> too kenya but i believe our men should do better <laughs> with their dressing like they should put more effort like our men are so handsome no 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 honestly but they don't... speaking don't at it, confuse this not only the men the ladies and men in kenya your dress code is just on a zero <laughs> Like presentation, but how about anyway, Konayo? We don't take uh, time, don't, yeah, I'll say to look that good. Also. We don't take our uh, time to look good. If you go to Uganda, it took so much effort for mm. me to look this. See my village vlogs and then come here, <laughs> compare and <laughs> compare. Contrast. It took so much. I'm stressed, I'm stressed thinking about removing this makeup. Ah, don't be stressed, life. Yeah. Glam Which life. country has the best food? <laughs> oh, if you ask Nigerians, of course it's theirs. So if you ca- uh, Kenyans, no, me, I don't think we have the best food. Me, I believe we have the best food. I love our food. I love our nyamachoma. I love our pilau. I hate nyamachoma. I love our biryani. I know it's influenced by Indian, but it's ours. We cook it in our Kenyans own have style. More culture. We have so much culture. If you travel, don't listen to this one. If you, if you travel. <laughs> When we are here, we take like it Like we can do advantage. better. No, we have it, but we don't necessarily follow it. Think about Maasai's. You know, we have over 44 tribes. Maasai's are still there. Yeah, but... Have you ever met Maasai in Gong Road raising their cows? No, not of late. We could do better, but me, I just I just love cats. You know, that, that's the best food. Yes. Honestly speaking, the best food I, I love our think. food. I love our food totally. If I was told that you can only eat one food for the rest of your life, choose a country. I wouldn't choose Kenya. You'll choose what? I'm confused, but I West don't... Africa. So you're lying between West Africa and right. West, yeah, and then West Africa has a variety. You guys comment down below. <laughs> I'm not hating on Kenyans, but hey, I'm, I'm one. I can't hate on you guys. You're me. You are you and me are one. <laughs> what, in your opinion, is the coolest country in Africa besides your own? Like in terms of infrastructure, the people, like Just what? Say cool, cool in what? I like think, cool in your way. Like what is what most is like important for you? Me, of course, I feel Kenyan vibes. I'm like, oh, I'm apart Kenyan. from Kenya. Oh, apart say. from Kenya, Nigeria. Oh, 100% Nigeria. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, don't even ask me these questions. It's Nigeria. You? Me, South Africa. Okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> what, what do you mean by cool? The roads, the asses. No, I just love South Africans. I love the way they talk. talk. I, I just believe in them that like they are the youngest cut they are the youngest uh, country to get into and they are the last country to get independent in the mm-hmm. world and now they that are makes like, them cool yes because I love <laughs> I love good <laughs> things in life <laughs> Uh, yeah. I know, like the way that like, yeah, yeah, it's the, developed, it's like very it's developed. The last, uh, yes, this is what I wanted to say. It's the last country to get like independence, and they're really like 
stop there yeah in everything yeah yeah yes and yeah, just yes. love the people i love the south african people i'm not yet gotten to meet one but i'm really watching youtubers so that <laughs> youtubers and i feel like I've no met they're several. <laughs> I'm not, i met several and they're not as cool as, as they see you nigerians win in this they are in so this. entertaining nigerians are entertaining mm-hmm. they have a personality that you not find anywhere they <laughs> think for you they they are very welcoming right very welcoming and they like you to feel at home wherever wow. you are with them so like they are really nice. cultural like they have that african that feel thing. with them it's just like something else africa when you think about them it's africa when you experience them it mm. just grows on you so maybe i haven't had any experience of please Nigerians. and nigeria can propose and ghania okay and come had... please DM her so that she can experience <laughs> this one. Amodulus from there. Your kind hearts, your generosity. I keep on going to sell. Oh, you don't want I'm advertising you for nothing. Just slide in her DM girl. Uh, oh, men, men not girls. You're straight, yeah? Very straight. <laughs> She's straight. Nigerian women stay with only those ones with the modulus. <laughs> I did that. And a sizable one. Not I... just any. <laughs> so there are very many different stereotypes going around Africa. So we are currently in Africa. We live in Africa. We've been born and raised here in Africa. So we are the perfect people to... To deny or tell it if it's a truth so many people believe that african li- africans live in huts without much access to water or food do you look like we don't have water <laughs> do you look like we haven't showered <laughs> you know the problem is and that's why i love youtube is um foreigners people who are not from I- here they usually come and just showcase the poor side of africa Obviously, in every country, in every continent, there's a poor, rich, middle. But you know why? Me, I understand why they why they, they do that. that. Mm-hmm. Because when they go to the nice places, yeah, like mm-hmm. an American mm-hmm. comes here. Mm-hmm. They have been to California. Maybe mm-hmm. they live in California. Yeah. And then they come here. At now, you take them to Lavington. Now, that's the poshest place in Nairobi. <laughs> that's like the ghetto for them. So when they get to Kibera and get to see the situation there, you know they're shocked. Shocked. You know when they go to Lavinto, there's nothing to talk about. There's just like, okay, this is normal, maybe. Mm. So they they can't start saying, oh, this is the posh area. So because there's nothing mm. posh about it to yeah, them. True. And then when they go to Kibera, they're like, wow, this is an extreme. Mm. So they so, they are, they are so. It's not so. that they want to showcase the bad side, but no, that is what shocks them. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Because their their good is very good, not anything but, compared to here. But Europe also has like really poor countries, like even poorer than uh, Kenya. But maybe they haven't been there. Ukraine. But I think poor poverty for there and here. Guys. You know Kibira has plain toilets. Oh. You know I've been to Thailand and Thailand is very poor. But mm, no flying the, toilet. They are not flying toilet, and like it's not, nothing compared to to here. For so you you okay, but this is a very difficult question. <laughs> so <laughs> so we can't bust the myth or say. But for me, I but no, like, of course not. We are yeah. not living in hearts. Mm. I am just saying why they should yeah. taste that one. Yeah. But no, we are not living in hearts, and we have internet. We yeah. are so like into. We are more modern. Like we are, we are, we are not trending with them. Yes. We are like we are develop. Like we are. How do you say it? We are getting. We are modernized. Yeah, we are more modernized. We are yeah, more modernized. We're on YouTube. That. <laughs> Yes. The internet made the yeah. whole world as one. At another stereotype is Africans are always celebrating, dancing, and enjoying life. 
Yeah, we are happy people. Yes. That is a true Even one. when we cry, when there's funeral, we, we still are, dance. There is always dance. Yeah. yeah. Africans are highly religious. <laughs> Most yes. Africans, especially the con men, will like hide behind religion. That's yeah. the like the first way, the fastest way to con any black person. Mm-hmm. Just tell them about God, and they are like, oh yes, yes. And that's how they get to you. Mm-hmm. Africa is unsafe to visit. No, it's very safe. You yeah. just have to know where to go, where to go. and where not to go. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, guys, for the second part, this video is already long enough. And, guys, this lady has stories for days. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> stories Just are never ending. Has, like, the same as Kemuto, you know? <laughs> My inspiration. <laughs> part two of this video is going to be linked down below. Thank you for watching. Let me know about, like, and like any opinion matters okay i want to see you all on the comment section i love the engagement I always reply to every comment any answer any query you want to ask and anything you want to add more on this video please feel free to comment down below it's free it's lit it's the vibe i love you all so much and don't forget to subscribe and bye. guys this is just our opinions yeah bye bye, bye. <laughs>